もっとすんなりかけると思ってたんだけどなまあ最初はみんなそんな感じじゃない私が初めて作ったパンは不採用だったよえ美味しくなかったのうんうんあまりに品がないってパンツだね Hello there, welcome back to another episode of Anime with Alvin. Today, I'll be making the underwear bread from Asteroid in Love. Now, based on those two frames shown in the source material, this seems like a dish born out of pure imagination and raw artistic talent, but may actually be a slight variation on a very popular bun found in Japan. Melon pun, a fluffy white milk bread bun topped with a thin layer of cookie crumble, kind of similar to a Mexican concha. So, to begin, I'm combining 500 grams of bread flour, 65 grams of sugar, 2 teaspoons of kosher salt, and 2 teaspoons of dry instant yeast in a stand mixer until everything is combined. After the dried ingredients are friends, I'm now adding in 2 large eggs and 200 grams of whole milk around room temperature, mixing this on a low to medium speed with a dough hook until a rough dough forms. Couple minutes. Once the dough looks like it's having a good time, I'm adding in about 60 grams of soft, unsalted butter. Adding the butter slowly allows the dough to absorb each piece, or else it'll just kind of slip and slide everywhere without absorbing the butter. Once the dough has eaten all the butter, I'm turning this up to a medium high speed for about 4 to 6 minutes to get some nice gluten development in there. While the dough hook gets to work, you can pass this time by dancing, scrolling your phone, or just hanging out and keeping your stand mixer buddy company. At this point, the dough should be pretty nice and elastic, so I'm oiling up a bowl, shaping this dough into a nice smooth ball, checking for a little poke, boing, and wrapping this with saran wrap and letting this proof for about an hour or so. While our buns get bigger, it's now time to tackle the cookie topping. In a stand mixer, once again, I'm combining 120 grams of unsalted butter, 120 grams of sugar, and beating it until it's a little fluffy. This is my dough baby Bob. There he goes. You think you can run away from me? Sit right here and watch. This is followed by one large egg, about a half teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a half teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm now adding in about 230 grams of cake flour and 50 grams of almond flour, along with a teaspoon of baking powder. I was supposed to sift these, uh, but I forgot. At this point, this looks like a pretty standard cookie like dough. One half gets about 25 grams of special dark cocoa powder, which makes it ultra dark, while the lighter half gets about 20 extra grams of cake flour to match the dryness of the cocoa powder added to the darker half. Once both colors have been combined and there's no streaks or anything, I'm putting them in saran wrap, wrapping them, and pressing them a little flat so that they go chill in the fridge. You know what they say you can't make a good pair of underwear with warm ingredients. Our dough has now doubled in size, so I'm gonna go ahead and shape these and divide them into roughly four equally sized buns. It's now time to fill each bun with as many chocolate chips as I can, for realism. Each chocolate stuffed bun now gets a nice shape into a smooth round ball, in which form they will now do their final proof and expand. Our cookie dough should be cool by now, and my strategy here is to cut these blocks into long strips. Laying them across a piece of parchment paper and alternating strips of light to dark cookie dough until there's five total. Three light, two dark. Just like the show. I'm trying to keep these as tight and as level as possible so that when I place a piece of parchment paper on top and roll them, I get as even and smooth of a stripe pattern as I can. This is essentially the cloth from which we shall cut our precious underwear. But you know what they say you can't cut underwear while it's still hot. So this is gonna have to go back in the fridge. Once our cloth has chilled, It's time to make some underwear. You know what they say? Measure twice, cut once. I'm gonna cut four times until we have roughly four trapezoids the shape of a thong. More on that later. I'm making a quick egg wash with one egg yolk, a splash of heavy cream, a pinch of salt, and a pinch of sugar. This will help give the buns a nice golden brown exterior when they hit the oven. When brushing your buns, it's important that you don't want to miss any cracks. Any uncovered surfaces may not be exposed to a nice tan. Hmm, this underwear seems to be a bit too large for these buns. You know what they say? You don't, no one likes a saggy underwear. So, after a quick trip to the tailor, me, making some alterations with a knife, I'm now able to snugly fit this pair of underwear on these buns. And don't forget, the source material clearly shows a little black bow right on the front, so I will do the same. A little tuck, a little pat for reassurance, and off to a 350 degree oven they go. Our underwear has cracked quite nicely.、Um, so, not the visual I was hoping for, but to be fair, actual melon pan or conchas do have a nice cracked cookie topping on top. The flavor and texture of the cooked part of the bun is actually quite nice. But you know what they say? A cracked underwear is no good. 
I think the biggest reason for the cracking was due to the cookie crumble recipe. So this time I'm doing the exact same thing I did, but in completely removing the baking powder and decreasing the sugar to prevent less spreading. My arms are also getting pretty tired at this point because I didn't realize I used a stand mixer for the first half. I forgot, once again. You know what they say, too much underwear, the brain goes nowhere. And I'm repeating the process of cutting, lining them up in stripes, alternating the colors, and pressing down into a long piece of underwear cloth, from which we will cut another for beautiful pairs of underwear. You know what they say, the second time's the good one. While I was laboring and tinkering away at the taper of these undergarments, I actually gave the buns a 15 minute head start, but the idea is that putting the underwear on later in the baking process will prevent the underwear from cracking and help them cling to the buns a little bit better. I'm feeling really good about this batch. The underwear is beautifully cut, so working quickly to make sure that the heat doesn't melt the cookie, I'm returning these back into the 350 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. And hey, what do you know? It worked. <laughs> The underwear is cooked and drapes beautifully over the sides. And I gotta say my favorite thing about this is that little black bow in the front. I do love accessories. But what I wanna know most of all is how does this taste? So while the bun is still warm and soft, I'm gonna dive in face first. This is extremely good. The warm fluffy bun, that slightly sweet and salty crumble cookie topping combined with that little bit of that chocolate surprise in the middle, Gotta say, I've had melon pan once or twice before when I was in Japan, and even though this isn't the same thing, it does remind me slightly of what I had. Though I think they probably sell a lot more if they look like this. I don't know if that's a good thing. And because I had to know what was underneath, give the underwear a slight tug with your fingertips. And voila, 10 lines. All right, everybody in the studio has to eat these while they're still warm. Even you, Steve. 